The big day is here guys, One UI 6.1 just arrived on my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I installed it, used it a bit and in this video I am going to walk you through One UI 6.1 on my Galaxy S23 Ultra and here I have the Galaxy S24 Ultra also running the One UI 6.1. One UI 6.1 was released with the S24 Ultra. This happened uh, somewhere in February. Right now, guys, it's still March, right now, April, and Samsung was able to finally give us One UI 6.1 with all this fancy new AI stuff for the S23 Ultra. One of the best phones Samsung ever made. I do believe that the S23 Ultra will just remain as a true legend. Also, one of the best camera setup, 10x optical zoom, all things that, yeah, we don't have here. Joke aside, guys, let me show you. This here is running the latest One UI 6.1. It's AXCA security patch level from the 1st of April. This here now, One UI 6.1 security patch level from the 1st of March. It has the firmware version of the CXCF, all right? And if I click here, guys, the last update, wow. I know that Samsung are not so great in doing change logs, but just wow, like sometimes when they do it right, they just do it right. And besides the fact that this time, this is a big update going from One UI 6.6.1, so it's not a major software upgrade, switching, let's say from 14 Android to Android 15, but in this case still, right? It's not a minor update and it's 3000 megabytes, guys. So Galaxy AI is here. Samsung are using again the AR card. They are playing the AI card here very, very strongly. Unleash new ways to create, connect, search, summarize, a lot of things you can do. And by the way, this is the first screen, right? But the moment you guys click here on AI changes, you're gonna be overwhelmed. Instant search for anything on the screen with the circle to search, translate phone calls in real time. And by the way, there are so, so many things. And these things, by the way, guys, I'm gonna show you, they come directly from the advanced intelligence that really will allow you to unlock the power of your phone. Now, I have to be honest with you guys, I didn't really put up a dedicated video testing some of these AI things. Some of them are nice, I like them, I'm gonna show this to you. Some of them are useful, like the circle to search, really save you some time. Some of this is not usable by me, but I have friends that use it, right? And some of them, it's just things that I will probably not use so soon. But it's good that we have them, and they are right now for free, because the rumors are Samsung are gonna start charging us subscription based hey samsung going full apple on us translate while chatting conversations translation auto formatting of note text summarizing voice recording web pages re-imaging pictures with photo editing like these things are really very very useful the things that you can do with a samsung keyboard the things that you can do with your photos and the way you edit them also copy and paste from one image to another just do a lot of things with the way you edit your images, change the playback speed of the videos, right? It's also very important. Like you can just see these guys here is a proper change lock. Like the upgrade is so big that it's almost impossible to really cover all in one video. Well, because it's gonna be something like three hours and a half, like the extended Schneider universe. Nobody's gonna ever watch it. But guys, what I wanna show you is really the basic stuff. And um, before I start this, I also am shooting this video in 4K 60, which is overkill, but I wanna show you the animations because I know a lot of you are going to ask the same question. I know that I ask this to myself, like if I open one application, right, like Telegram, and what happens when I try to exit, boom. Finally, this very nice animation that was there, and the One UI 6.1 arrived for the S23 Auto. Now I go outside, and this is, guys, what we have. And of course, yeah, if you just hold here, right, this is gonna be the first thing I wanna demonstrate to you, absolutely the case, now circle to search arrived. So, I can try it. Right now is, by the way, for free, so I, if I just circle this icon, yes, this is exactly this, what I'm looking for. This circle to search, this is not exclusive to Samsung. A lot of other phones, namely Pixel phones, are going to get it, but I just wanted to test it out for you. Now, guys, I have entered the tips inside, right, so that you can just see, like, how equal this is. If I click to advanced intelligence, because I know this is gonna be the first question. Did Samsung sacrifice some things? Yeah. Will I show this to you? Of course, right? I think even that's even more important to show you like 
things that work here and here. What is more important is to understand what we have here that will not end up here right now. I know a few things, all right? How do we know? What is the best way, guys, to also test this for yourself? When you go inside your form, you just click to advanced features. Inside the advanced features, guys, there's gonna be the advanced intelligence. We have the very same section here and here. Phone calls are gonna be translated on the S23 Ultra as well. Samsung keyboard, guys, there are some things. I like those things, I'm gonna share this with you. The interpreter, again, I said I have some friends, I really have a friend working for the European Commission, he knows who this guy is. He's using this quite often. Samsung Note, right? You'll be able to do some things like get an auto formatting, summarization, a voice recorder, free transcription, Samsung internet. When you use the browser, guys, you're gonna be able to summarize pages, which is actually quite nice photo editor we're going to be also paying some attention to the photo editor like what can you do with your pictures ar is really big here in terms of generative ai letting you fill in some things that you don't like in a photo we're going to be testing this and of course you have the option to process data only on device so so far right i can say a lot of things are here maybe 90 percent of the things made it there but let me first show you what did not made its way from the one i 6.1 on the s24 ultra to the S23 Ultra. So I'm gonna go back to my OS on display. So this is always on display. Lock screen, lock screen, 100% the same. Wait, boom. Here I have the standard OS on display. Here I have the option to show the wallpaper in the AOD. Let's go in the settings. Let's click on the OS on display and see why this happens. First thing we see, the option to turn it on. Show lock screen wallpaper. This option is not available on the S23 Ultra. I don't know why, don't ask me. I just have a feeling that it's uh, either gatekeeping some features for the S24 Ultra, Maybe Samsung will have a more technical explanation, something with the screen and LTPO and the refresh and battery. I don't really buy this. Here you have the option to show the lock screen wallpaper and also when that's a picture to erase the background. Well, let me show you. I'm gonna set this very beautiful Zelda here on the wallpaper on both of my phones on the lock and the home screen, all right? Very beautiful, by the way. Let me just choose an effect like this. I really love this bokeh insane. So see here, guys, I have the option to show this on the screen on the OS on display, which is actually kind of cool, all right? So OS on display, I don't know. Again, Samsung, please make this possible. This is insane. Lock screen, lock screen, all right? One-to-one, after to unique. And the moment, guys, I go to the OS on display, well, see what happens. And then, of course, you do have also the option, like I told you, to erase the background. So if I click here to erase the background, well, let me show you what happens here. So Zelda is here on my OS on display, boom. Now I have the full picture. And of course, now I'm gonna be also able to unlock my phone. By the way, let's just try to do the unlock from the lock screen to see who wins. Yeah, no doubt here, I guess the S24 Ultra, very, very quick. Now, since we're here, guys, let's continue. Again, I promise to show you some things that you're not gonna be able to find here and then show you things that I believe are really worth for you to explore. The first feature not available on our S23 Ultra One UI 6.1 was this whole thing with the OS on display. But now let me show something that I believe is even better. And again, I miss it. So let me just open this photo, guys. See, the moment I open this picture, you'll notice something, right? Just pay attention, guys. I'm gonna open it also on my S23 Ultra. Boom. Exactly right. One more time, guys. Pay attention. Super HDR. We have this vividness of the HDR picture displayed in the preview as well and also here. And by the way, some of the applications like Instagram do support this as well. I don't think this is gonna ever come to the S23 Ultra, most probably some different technology or again, some gatekeeping, but I really like it. All the colors are so much more vivid and I really enjoy watching some of my pictures here. And now, something also, guys, related to the display. Yeah, because remember when the S24 Ultra started, there was this big drama with the displays. The issue with the S24 Ultra not being so vivid, but then also with this bending when you're watching gray things on low brightness. So at some point, Samsung released an update. And when you're not using the Comfort Eye mode, right, you're gonna get something called advanced settings, right? In the advanced settings, you have the vividness bar. And a lot of people were saying that we're not getting it in the S23 Ultra. And I have to say, these people actually were right because apparently we are not getting a vividness bar in the S23 Ultra, but it's just because we don't really need that one, right? So this vividness bar were just put there to let the users equalize the display. Now guys, 
see here, I have removed the eye comfort, right? And now I can tell that I have a feeling the displays are very uniform. They pretty much look the same. But this is another thing that apparently we don't need, but we're also not getting in the S23 Ultra. All right, all right. Now it's time to show a bit more of what we're getting because remember, there are just a few things we're not getting and there is 90% of all the goodness that we're getting. Starting with all the goodness, if you scroll down here, you're gonna see, yeah, now you have a button called Interpreter. And because I started for the first time, I need to allow some permissions. But guys, this here is the Interpreter that will allow you to translate some things. You need to set it up, download some of them languages, and then you can use this. And by the way, guys, this works also offline. So this is quite nice. You have an own personal Interpreter right, working on device requiring no connection. And by the way, I'm just gonna put this to the test. So once I've set it up, I'm just going to stop my data and try to translate myself from English to let's say Spanish to see if that works. I'm testing the new translation function in my S23 Ultra. Let's see how well this goes. Okay guys. Vamos a ver cómo va esto en el mundo. I can not confirm or deny that this is wrong or not, but you know, let me just try to remove the data and test it one more time. I'm not using any mobile data or Wi-Fi on my phone and I want to test if translation is working. A usar cualquier dato móvil o wifi en el teléfono y quiero probar si la traducción está funcionando. So you pretty much get the idea. It seems that it's working. So it's really nice. Now you have your own personal AI interpreter yeah, in your hand and in your pocket. And by the way, you can do this also on your phone call. So there is an option when you go inside calls and settings called Live Translate when you enable it. All right, now let's try to check the new summarize function using the Samsung internet browser. So I've just opened something very Samsung-ish and this is the changelog. Let's see what the AI will do. So I'm just gonna click summarize. You also have the option to translate and well, <laughs> That was not so great, by the way. All right, again, nothing here so much to summarize. Let's just open something proper. Let's open the BBC News, all right? I don't really use BBC News, but I wanna check what the tool can do. Clicking summarize, all right? Yeah, top stories from Europe. Wow, I mean, why not, right? Like, instead of reading all of this, you just have this. And this, by the way, works so nice in some other sections. So, for example, guys, let me just try to open notes. So, I've opened notes. I have some text here, guys. Let's say this is not so well organized. I have here this magic button, right? Every time you see these guys, means AI is here to help. And we have options, auto format, summarize correct spelling. So, the first thing I'm gonna show you is the auto format. So, you can create meeting notes out of this, but you can also create headers and bullets. This is something I, by the way, quite like. Optimize the arrangements, guys. See, boom. This is really like magic. Update release, update details, crazy. Of course, there is more. When you click here, right, you can also just summarize this. All these big tasks now just down to two bullet points bullet point one and two. And of course you can also replace this, hit one more time and even try to translate it. So let's say I wanna translate it, of course, yeah. La serie Samsung and whatever, like this really works like a charm. A lot of these things are AI driven. A lot of these things work on device. And it's really good to see that Samsung is trying to push AI to just do something that is really usable, right? And not just draw pictures. I'm not saying that's unusable, but at least take it to the next level for users and consumers. And this works everywhere. So I have a message, I have selected the text, right? It's in English, I can hit translate guys, and I can do this everywhere from every screen on the phone and almost in every stock app, which is actually very nice. And now some more AI power. I'm using the standard Samsung voice recorder, and you can just see, I'm by the way, using it to record some of the audios for my videos. Let's say that I'm done, right? I can just try to save this one, save it, and guys, now I can open it. But not only can I open it right here, it back, I can also transcribe it. I can transcribe it in English, right? And let's say create a script for my videos. Yep, not ideal, by the way. I can also hit the summarization. So the idea really is for you to check how Samsung integrated these AI functions almost everywhere. And it's very seamless in all of their applications. So whatever you can do here in a voice recorder, I can do in the gallery, I can do in the Samsung keyboard, in the notes, I can do with using Samsung internet. And you see how this works. And I can tell you guys, I'm even just barely scratching the top of the iceberg. So there are plenty of other functions for me to show you. So don't close the video on me right now. So the next thing I wanna show is the keyboard. All right, so see here guys, standard stuff, right? 
But the moment I go here, boom, immediately this AI sign will appear so I can click it. Of course, there is AI here. And of course, I can do the standard stuff like translate it in whatever language I can almost, but there is even something more. Let me show you. When I click here, OK, there is something called the writing style. This is very cool, by the way, because it will take your input, analyze it. This is the original. The next thing I want to show you is the keyboard. It can then turn it into a more professional tone. The following item I would like to demonstrate is keyboard. Then, of course, very casual. The next thing I want to show you is the keyboard. Social, you know, even inserting tags and emojis are very polite and very emojified. And you can do this with a lot of other things. This is really, really crazy, guys. Like so many writing styles. You can use this to write some of your emails if you want to do so. And by the way, spelling and grammar, that's clear. So even the Samsung keyboard, you know, is getting this AI refinement. But there is more, of course. Let me show you. If I go inside the wallpapers and I click change wallpapers, I now finally is going to be able to use the new AI power, right? So let's say I want to create something imaginary, right? Or let's say create a painting. I can click here and then I can choose different tag words. So let's put beach here, okay? And uh, nothing else is going to be replaced by flying cars. It's kind of limited because it's still not really allowing you to write whatever you want, but you can generate so many of those. And sometimes, guys, these wallpapers are really so great at, in fact, I'm using them sometimes. Now, of course, my favorite wallpaper app is Lunar by Matthias Eckhart. See here, why not use this? It's batshit crazy. You have this option or that option or this or that. This is nice. So I'm going to click set and with the touch of a button, guys, I'm setting this on both my home screen and lock screen. This was first released with, I think, the Pixel 8 series. And of course, then Samsung got it. But it's one of the many things that you're getting with One UI 6.1 for the S23 series, which is just amazing. And now let's play with the gallery because inside the gallery, yeah, we should have a lot of AI things. So I can save this as a sticker, which actually I always could. I'm going to go inside and I'm going to click this very nice button. So with this very nice button, guys, you see, of course, every time you see the AI button, you know AI is here to help. And with AI is here to help, you can do plenty of stuff. Let me show you. Tap or draw around anything you want to move or delete. So let's say I don't want to delete anything. I just want to enlarge Zelda because she's so beautiful, right? So I can just select her, right? And boom, I'm going to also select her on my S24 Ultra. And right now, guys, see, all right, I can just make her so big, or let's say I want to just delete her. And by the way, deletion is nice because, <laughs> let me show you why. If I decide to delete her, right, I'm going to be using the generative AI. So my phone is going to analyze what is around the object. All right, <laughs> you see what I mean? This is true generative AI because it doesn't really work the same times every time, guys. So. Let me just try one more time. This is just so fun, okay? And this is really why I like playing up with AI because the thing is, if you're using AI in this specific generative AI, the chances are that every time you're getting something like randomly, and that's not bad. But let's say this time I'm gonna move Zelda here, right? And I'm gonna do the same on the S24 Ultra, okay? I just wanna see how clever the AI is. And now again, the phones are analyzed what is supposed to be missing and fill it in. And this is just amazing that we have it on our phones, just really in your pocket. But again, I expect to have different results. Sometimes, you know, it's cringy, sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's just purely amazing. I mean, just, just look at this, guys. It was like this, all right? Boom, it's absolutely amazing. And you can do this on your pictures as well. So sometimes, you know, how it goes, you have a picture, you don't like it. Let's try to bring the lady back because now it's gonna be interesting to see if the tool is going to be able to redraw her. Now, I don't think so, right? I think this is gonna really blow my imagination, but let's just see what happens and how well both phones are gonna handle it. Sculpting the new scenery, oh, wow. I just have a feeling that the S23 Ultra in this case really, really provided a better result. But you see, right? Sometimes playing with AI could be fun, sometimes not so fun, sometimes even cringe. But the thing is, we got this function in the S23 series, thanks to One UI 6.1. Another new thing, the so-called instant slow-mo. I have a video shot with the S23 Ultra. All right, let me just play this video for you. Okay, it's just me setting up the scene. This is already slow-mo. And by the way, this uses also AI because 
it is just generating some fake frames or let's say generated AI frames to try to really slow down the video. And by the way, you can also do this permanently. If I go inside the edit menu, right, you'll see that I have an option. So I can go, I can do one eighth, I, one fourth, and I can even decide which portion of the videos to slow down. And again, this is only happening because of the One UI 6.1 we got here. So it's really something. Let's check some of the new widgets because yes, there are new widgets. And as you can see, I'm already using them here. So the battery widgets, the battery status widgets, you can add them, they will work on your lock screen. Let me show you. So changes apply to the lock screen, right? Will they work also on the, yes, also on the OS on display. And you know, you can also get and change the colors. So this also has arrived with One UI 6.1. There are plenty of other very small and incremental changes like triggering uh, some of the routines directly from the home screen, even new routines, some new ways to handle reminders in the calendar as well. I really don't want to show you everything, but I have reserved the last portion of this video, right, to show you some of them sweet animations. So what I'm gonna do right now, guys, I'm gonna try to close everything and I wanna compare just what happens, okay? So opening the folder, all right, we wanna see the blur applied Folder opening, okay, Telegram, just amazing. Going outside, amazing, it feels like the same phone. Let's now try to open X, okay, open X, scrolling, scrolling, going outside of X, just, just purely amazing. Let's open some widgets, all right. First time, of course, it has to refresh, now it refreshed, going outside. This now feels really like one and the same phone. If uh, somebody ties my eyes, guys, and don't let me touch them, or maybe just touch the display, I cannot know. I need to feel the curve to say, okay, that is the S23 Ultra, and this is the S24 Ultra. They really look so uniform, okay? Play Store going outside, and you can see this zoom in, zoom out animation is very similar. Like all the notifications here, clear, clear, Right, no luck whatsoever, right? You can see everything really aligns so perfectly. I really am happy to be finally able to get my hands on One X6.1. I will do a more in-depth comparison in animations and UI just to be absolutely sure that nothing really uh, has been left out from the S24 Ultra. Let's open the camera as well. All right, cool. <laughs> And guys, now what I wanna do, I wanna go to the video, all right? Let me just go to the back camera. And you can see if I'm doing this with the S23 Ultra, I just have a feeling that we arrive at the other sensor just like that. And you're missing all this nice and fancy animation going from the ultra wide to the main camera, to the crop and then to the 3X. So there is for sure this animation on the S24 Ultra. And here guys, they just decided to cut some corners, at least for now, right? So boom, boom, it really works quite fast, but there is no transition whatsoever. I don't think that's a huge issue, but I will be happy to also hear your opinion. And if you like videos like this, guys, you're more than welcome to support the channel. I will be doing a camera comparison now that the S23 Ultra finally has one x one and I'm just gonna be happy to see you around. So thank you so much for watching this rather lengthy video. Stay safe, VST over, and bye.